One of the biggest mistakes that I was making when I was a dinosaur, when I don't believe in what I believe now, because years coaching and things work out in the way of me learning better ways to teach kids or teach players, teach professionals. We have to think about them and not about ourselves. We have to create better baseball players than we, we, we used to be. And that was something that take time to understand and learn as a coach. And we have to evolve. One of the biggest mistakes that I used to make, and I know some of a lot of coaches are still making, it was when the front foot land, we landing, we get here. So everybody know that in the pictures, we all create a good stretch. All the baseball players create a good stretch. Not to the catcher, front shoulder down, with that front foot moving forward, right? So you create that torso back, at the same time you move forward. But I was doing a big mistake. This is what I was used to do. I create, I separate, and then from here, I turn moving forward. So I create two movements instead of one. I used to do this, stretch, and then from here, turn. I'm moving my chest forward and that create, you don't have time. That make your swing slow and not consistent. When you play highest level, you will see all this extra movement. As soon as you land here, you will see the struggles if more time you wanna play, okay? More uh, higher level you play, okay? This is what I used to do. Separation and then from here, I was moving forward really bad, really bad. I don't even know that sometimes I thought that I was staying back, but I was, no, I was trying to turn my front leg and that's not good. So that means we have to stay in our back leg. When that front foot go forward and you stretch the right way, when you land, it should not be extra movement when you start turning. It should be one motion. So as soon as you land, boom. See that? Boom. So it's almost like a, that front heel is the trigger of the gun. As soon as that front heel land, I should tilt my shoulders. At the same time, you back leg turn. It's almost like a, your back leg is about to turn quicker or almost before that heel land because you want to feel the one piece movement instead of like land the heel and then get out of the backside and try to look for power. Yes, you're gonna look for power. You're gonna look like you have power in the T, like you have power in front of us, or balls coming soft. Maybe you're still doing it as a high school level, even professional level. Some players are still doing it. They don't even realize they're doing it. What we're trying to get is, as soon as we land, we have to get the tilt quick. When you get the right movement and the right coil, feel the right motion, turning your back leg and turning your wrist back so you get early in the song and don't waste time. You're gonna have more time, you're gonna feel more quick, but you have to have the right stretch so you can feel the power and you can feel the quickness. If you don't have the right stretch moving forward, you're gonna feel like you have to move forward to hit the ball because you want power, right? Make sure as soon as you land, pull the trigger, stay back.